All lovable apps look the same, and it's true. Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. But the problem isn't lovable, it's your prompts. So stay until the end and I will show you exactly how to fix that. Okay, so for this video, I prepared some slides. We will very quickly go through them. After that, I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I have a good prompt and a bad prompt, and I will show you exactly what the difference is. And my promise to you is if you watch until the end of this video, you will know exactly how to create the most amazing lovable apps possible. So most prompts look like this. So make a landing page for my AI agency and use dark colors and make it look modern. And obviously a lot of people already prompt better than this, but believe me, I have seen people prompt like this and then be flabbergasted by why it is not looking good. What is missing? We are giving no context, no specifics, no structure and no quality bar. So AI has to guess everything and this will give generic output. And obviously that's not what we want. So a good prompt has structure. And we are using XML tags for this. So this is exactly what you see right here. So we have the context and the company info. So for who, for what, and why. We then have design requirements. So colors, style, animations, and you just need to understand the words to use. Because sometimes adding a word like a glassy effect is already enough to create a super cool landing page. And this is obviously not just for landing pages. This is for every dashboard, chatbot or anything that you're making. We also need content structure. So we have sections, we have a specific hierarchy, we have a specific flow in our website. We just need to think about that. And everything I'm saying right here is not something you need to do manually in your paper or something. No, you can just use AI to write this prompt for you. We then also have our technical specs. So do we need it responsive? And then we also have some quality references. So these are the X XML tags that I was talking about. So for example, for my agency, I want a new website. My old one is just outdated and I'm providing my name, my tagline, my focus and the design vision. So think Apple meets Porsche 2027. It's cold, precise, alive and the vibe is walking into a dark room where intelligence lives. It really understands exactly what you're trying to achieve. And it's basically the same as when you're talking with a designer and you're explaining what you want to create. So we can be very precise. So our color systems, our typography and adding a different font is already making a huge difference so give exact values so you might want to add some sections so a hero section a services section or some stats and just think about this already but one thing is don't feel overwhelmed maybe you just don't know yet what you want you can also leave some things out obviously so we need to set examples so we have reference sites so for example linear stripe apple we really want to make this intentional and not just saying we want a cool website so never do things like this like add bouncing add linear easing so it will just move like this we want good flows in our website we don't want large delays generic icons because those are really the things that show that it is built by lovable so the difference between a bad prompt and a good prompt is a lot with a bad prompt we give no context we are very vague and we just have template garbage and it is not worth anything but with a good prompt we really show it exactly how we want it the exact vibe and it is formatted very professionally hey so very quickly if you're enjoying this video and learning anything from it please like and subscribe a lot of more content like this is in the pipeline okay so what we are going to do is we are going to create an awards 2027 winner website and we explain everything about it and in the build loop prompt library i have put this exact prompt and what you can do is you can go here the link is in the description and you can copy this exact prompt maybe rewrite it for your use case and then you can create the same landing page so what we say is you're building a website it's the winner of 2027 and a 50k premium ai agency website that will be featured in design publications so we now put everything that we learned into this prompt so we explain something about the company also the design philosophy so this is not a website it's a digital experience that makes people forget they're looking at a browser we explain the vibe the exact color system the font that we are using our cursor design and everything is in here so you can take a look at it yourself so what we do is we copy the prompt right here we go to lovable and we run it 
And in the meantime, we'll also run the prompt for the simpler website with the simple prompt without everything that we've learned. So right here, we say make a landing page for my AI agency called Everyman AI. We say the color, dark background, make it look modern and professional. So right here, we also want some information about the company. So we go to my website and this is my current website and I made it last year in Webflow. I like it, it's all right, but I need a new one. So we copy everything from here, all the content, we go to Lovewall, we paste it, and then we run this one. So we can then compare the two websites and see the results for both of them. Okay, so right here we have our first version and this is for the simple one. So we say make a landing page, we paste all the information about my current website and it just started to create this. And as you can see right now, it is looking very lovable-ish. We see all these icons are very much the same as all the other lovable apps out there. We have our work right here and it's looking all right. We have this and it's not very ugly. I mean, we have some hover animations. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. Right? This is something that I see a lot of people make. It's very basic. Let me now go to the website with the good prompt because the difference between this one and the one with the good prompt is insane. So in one prompt, we created this landing page. So let me go full screen and show you. This is already way better. So when we now scroll down, you can see that the whole experience is way nicer you see that everything is looking very clean we can add some images ourselves our cursor is looking way nicer we have right here everything we have this one so we can add images in the future but this is already a way better experience then we have this the proven results and look at this it is amazing like we have the hovering in one prompt it's really insane so let's build something and we have the call to action so Look at everything right here. Like I've been building some websites in the last few years and like I couldn't even achieve this level because like I'm not a designer. So I think it might now be clear that what we can create with Lovable is just all about prompting and knowing what you're doing and really fine tuning your prompts. Because right now to go from this to our actual website, it's maybe four prompts more. We can fine tune some things, we can maybe add a section, but yeah, wow. Like I'm really flabbergasted by how great this looks. Thanks for sticking around until the end of this video. I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed it and learned anything from it, please like and subscribe. And I'll make sure that you can create the most amazing apps possible.